I'm going to walk you through the process of versioning and unversioning feature classes. The first thing is to make sure you've saved all of your changes and make sure all users are out of the Geo database. Otherwise, it may lock the database and prevent you from making changes. So after that's done, the next step is to do a compress. So to do that, you go to the View menu, click on Geo Processing Tools, and go to the Compress Geo Processing Tool here. And I'm going to go pick my database. And then I'll run that. And so we'll give that a second. OK, there it goes. It's completed. So the next step then is to go to the catalog view. And we're going to go to the specific database. So I went to the databases folder, uh, find the uh, geodatabase, and then locate the feature class that you want to version or unversion. I have my feature classes already versioned, so I'm going to unversion first, and then I'll version after that. So I'm going to go to this device feature class, right click on it, and then under the manage menu, there's an option called unregister as versioned. So I'll select that, and you saw it really quickly uh, show a status message, and that's really all there is to it. At this stage, you may get an error message, so compressing is really important that you do that because that'll eliminate that in a lot of cases, and also double check to make sure everyone is out of the database. If it can't get a lock, then it's not going to be able to do the unversion. So when you're ready to version your feature class again, you do the same thing. Um, go to the feature class and go to manage and then go and select register as versioned. And then I always do the checkbox register to the selected objects with the option to move edits to base. So select that and then click OK. And again, you'll see a message real quickly, and then it'll complete the process. And that's all there is to it.